पिता श्रीमद्भागवत प्रमाणमल प्रेम पुमा महा श्री चैतन्य महाप्रभोर्मत त्र दर अनापिता चरी शिरा कुणयावतीर्ण कल समर्पयोज्वल स्वभक्ति हरी पुरत सुंदर दिवी कदम संदीपिता सदा हृदय कंदरे स्फुत वाशची नंदना जय जय श्री चैतन्य जय निनंद जय द्वैत चंद्र जया गौर भक्त वृंद जगत मंगल द्वैत मंगल गुणधा मंगल चरित्र सदा Hare Krishna, we'd like to welcome all of the wonderful devotees who have joined us over YouTube Live, devotees who've joined us over Facebook Live, and wonderful devotees who have joined us over Zoom. We welcome each and every one of you to this day 94 of Sri Gauramrita. Before we proceed further, we'd like to announce and congratulate the participants from day 93. Of Sri Gauramrita. We'd like to congratulate Hari Prashad Prabhu, Mother Amrita Radhika, Anjudi, Vajayanti Lalita Mataji, Shimantadvi Prabhu, Mitanjali Prathan Mataji, Meera Bhushan Mataji, Janeshwar Goranga Prabhu, Varshana Chitra Mataji, Hari Krishna Maddali Prabhu, and Ranjani Gopika Mataji. Thank you all so much for participating in the quiz session from day 93. So today in session 94, we will continue to describe the transcendental treasure trove of Sri Krishna Chaitanya Mahaprabhu's devotional pastimes, Lord Gauranga's pastimes during the month, during his South India tour, how Sri Gaurahari visits Mangalgiri, how Sri Gauranga Mahaprabhu visits Mallikarjun Tirtha, how Shri, which is Sri Shailam, how he takes darshan of Lord Mahadev, how Sri Gaurahari visits the lion cave, Sri Aho Balam Kshetra. And then we'll conclude today's session by describing the falastuti, the benefits that we receive by listening to these transcendental pastimes of Sri Gaurahari. So in our previous session, we heard how Sri Gauranga Mahaprabhu has heartfelt discussions with Sri Ramananda Roy on the banks of the river Godavari at Kuvur. And how Sri Gauranga Mahaprabhu, he teaches us the highest understanding of Krishna consciousness. And we hear of what we should hear, what we should remember, and what we should forget. And how Sri Gauranga Mahaprabhu revealed his eternal form to Sri Ramananda Roy in the form of how he is non different from Sri Sri Radha and Krishna. This form was not revealed to anybody other than Sri Ramananda Roy. Very, very special. Sri Krishna Chaitanya, Radha, Radha Krishna, Krishna Nahi Anya. So now we will continue. Srila Krishna Das Kaviraj Goswami in his Chaitanya Charitamrita Madhalila chapter 9, text 3, he says, Dakshina Gamana Prabhura Ati Vilakshana Sahasra Sahasra Tirtha Koyla Darasham. Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu's tour of South India was certainly very extraordinary because he visited many thousands of places of pilgrimage there. And then, on the plea of visiting those holy places, the Lord converted many thousands of residents and he thus delivered them. In fact, simply by touching the holy places, he made them into great places 
of pilgrimage. Srila Krishna Das Kaviraj Goswami says that I cannot chronologically record all the places of pilgrimage that are visited by Lord Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, but I can only summarize everything by saying that the Lord visited all the holy place, right and left, coming and going. And because it's impossible for me to record all these places in chronological order, I will simply make a token gesture of recording them. So we must understand that when Sri Gauranga Mahaprabhu, when he was touring South India, that it is not that what we will hear, they are exactly according to the map, and they will be in that exact chronological order. So it will not be in that way because that is a disclaimer that Shri Krishna Das Kaviraj Goswami as the author, he is already stating it. But we are trying our best to cover all the places of pilgrimage that Sri Gauranga Mahaprabhu visited. And in Sri Chaitanya Charitamrita in chapter 9, text 13, Shri Krishna Das Kaviraj Goswami says, and then while he was walking on the road, Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu used to chant this Rama Raghava mantra. And chanting in this way, he slowly arrived at the banks of Gautami Ganga, and then he took his bath there. So Sri Gauranga Mahaprabhu, he then eventually arrives at Mangalagiri. Mangalagiri means the auspicious hill. The temple of Sri Panakala Lakshmi Narasimha Swami is situated on this hill. And on the right side of the steps provided to reach the temple, the lotus footprints of Sri Gauranga Mahaprabhu can be seen even till today. They are etched on a stone. The deity of Sri Lakshmi Narsingadev, of Lord Narsingadev, is a self-manifested deity. And the temple is actually open only till the afternoon with the belief that, it, in fact, the devatas come and perform their worship during okay. the evening. And here, Lord Narsingadev takes jaggery water as the offering. This jaggery water is actually poured into the mouth of the Lord. And once the Lord is satisfied, we hear a gargling sound that's clearly audible as if the Lord is actually drinking it. And as soon as the drink reaches half of it, as soon as the drink reaches half the quantity, mm. there is a burping sound that is heard. and The rest is given as Mahaprasad. In fact, it's very interesting that even a single ant is not traceable near the Lord. Generally, when there is jaggery, jaggery water, there are a lot of ants, but there are no ants there. And neither near the Lord nor around the temple, in spite of so much jaggery water. In fact, this where the pointer is, that is the mouth opening where the jaggery water is poured. And when it is half, then the log gives us back the Mahaprasad as a nice drink, panaka, you know, panaka drink, panakam. And this is another temple of Sri Lakshmi Narsingadev, which is at the foothills of the Mangalgiri hill. It is at the foothills. So Srila Krishnadas Kaviraj Goswami continues to say in his Sri Chaitanya Charitamrita Madhya Leela, in chapter 9, text 15, he says, Mallika Janatirthejai Mahesha Dekhila Tahasavaloke Krishna that Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, he then went to Malika Arjuna Tirtha and he saw he had darshan of the deity of Lord Shiva there. There also he induced people to chant the Hare Krishna Maha Mantra. In fact, Srila Prabhupada explains that Maluk, Malika Arjuna is also known as Sri Shaila. It is actually situated 100 miles northeast of 
Karnula on the south bank of the Krishna River. And then there are great walls around this village. And within the wall, there is resides the deity known as Malikarjuna. It is deity of Lord Shiva. It's also one of the uh, Jyotiv Lingats. Ramadasa Mahadevi Kurila Dorshan Ahobara Nashim Hede Kurila Gaman. There Sri Gauranga Mahaprabhu saw Lord Mahadevi. This is the deity that Lord Sri Gauranga Mahaprabhu saw of Sri Mahadev Shiva Shambhu, who is the servant of Lord Ramachandra. And then Sri Gauranga Mahaprabhu proceeded towards. Ahobalam Kshetra. Lord Goranga arrives at Ahobalam Narsingha, and upon seeing the Ahobalam Narsingha deity, Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu offered a beautiful prayer, which is Aho Giriam, Aho Shauriam, Aho Bahu Parakramaha, Narasimham Parangayam. So it is said that the entire Eastern Ghats, this range is compared to actually to Sri Adi Anantashesha, which is the great serpent bed of Lord Vishnu. And on the hoods of Anantashesh is said to be Tirupati which is on the on the bottom yes right right over there is where we see the red dot that is tirupati area and then that when it is moving up it is said the stomach of anantashesh is the ahobilam kshetra and the tail of anantashesh is the shri shailam malikarjuna tirtha kshetra so three main major tirthas on the Eastern Ghats, which we are visiting two out of them today, which is the tail. We started from the tail, which is Sri Shailam. And then we started from, uh, and now from Sri Shailam, from Malikarjuna Tirtha, we are coming to the, um, the Ahobalam Kshetra, towards the stomach of Sri Anantashesh. So Ahobalam is actually located in the Kurnal district of Andhra Pradesh, amidst the majestic hills of the Eastern Ghats range. It is here that the Supreme Personality of Godhead incarnated as Lord Narsingade, and he killed the demon Hiranyakashipu here to save his great devotee, Prahlad Maharaj. So it is said that this place in South India is one of the major pilgrimage centers, and it is actually one of the 108 Divya Deshams. And what's interesting is that the Brahmanda Purana states that Ahobilam was the dwelling place or the palace of the demon king Hiranyakashipu was right here in Ahobilam. And Hiranyakashipu was, of course, killed by Lord Narasimhadev. Jwala Ahopila Manola, Kroda Karan Jabhargava, Yoga Nanda Chatravata, Pavana Navamurtaya. So the nine Narsingha Sthalas are, these are in order from below to up. And then on the ground, Ahobila Narsingha, Kroda Narsingha, Jwala Narsingha, Malola Narsingha, Karanja Narsingha, Yogananda Narsingha, Chatravata Narsingha, Bhargava Narsingha, Pavana or Holy Narsingha. And out of these nine Narsimha Kshetras in the Ahobilam area, today we will visit four Kshetras which are in the upper Ahobilam. And next week, we'll visit the fifth Narsingha Kshetra, which is between Upper and Lower Ahobilam, and the four Kshetras, which are in the Lower Ahobilam. So you can see the three worlds. <laughs> Very well. So first, we'll have Darshan 
of Sri Ahobilam Narasingha Dev Bhagavan Ki So this is the main deity of Sri Ahobilam Narasimha. And this temple, which is situated on Upper Ahobilam, is eight kilometers from the Lower Ahobilam. So we have to climb eight kilometers up. And this is the main temple. It's the earliest of all the nine temples of Narasimha Dev in Ahobilam. And the Lord here is Ugra Narsingha in a very fierce aspect. This is the presiding deity of the temple, also known as Ahobila Narsingha Swami. Bila means cave. Ahobila means when we see Lord Narsingha Dev, we have Darshan of Narsingha Dev. We look at him and say, oh, what a cave. Oh, oh. is Aho. Aho <laughs> is like a surprise. Ahobila. And it is firmly believed that Lord Narsingha Dev was self-manifested here, Swayambhu. No one carved this deity. He was self-manifested in this place. Aho Bila Narsingha. Next, we have Darshan of Kroda Narsingha Swami. We see that uh, one of the pictures that is taken on the right-hand side here we can see from the uh, window, we have taken the darshan. We have taken a picture of Kroda Narsingha. And this is how the Kroda Narsingha actually uh, looks here. And this temple is one kilometer above the main temple of Ahobila Narsingha Swami on the upper Ahobila. And this image of the deity, it has a face of a boar as you can see, it's, it has a face of a boar. If you pinch it, you will see, uh, zoom it in. And uh, the Lord is seeing along, along with his consort, Lakshmi Devi, in this particular area. And uh, because of that, the Lord is, the, the temple is known as Krodakara Narsimha Swami. Krodakara means Varaha. Is so Kroda Narsingha means Varaha Narsingha. Kroda Narsingha Bhagavan Ki Jai. In fact, Lord Brahma, he got very scared and he was frightened by Lord Narsingha Dev after the Lord killed Hiranyakashipu so ghastly. And uh, Lord Narsingha Dev, he felt, Brahma felt Lord Narsingha Dev will be so extremely <laughs> angry with me because I was the one who gave Hiranyakashipu, these benedictions. <laughs> so in his fear, Lord Brahma, he just, he was carrying the Vedas in his hand. He dropped the Vedas in his fear and he assumed the face of Varahadev. Lord Brahma, no. oh, sorry, Lord Narsingha actually saw, hey, you, you, you dropped the Vedas. You were, the one thing that you were supposed to do was to hold the Vedas and you dropped them. And Narsingha Dev, he dived and he saved the Vedas. He rescued the Vedas. And this is why Lord Narsingha Dev is seen here, his manifestation of Lord Varaha, because he died, he assumed the face of Lord Varaha, and he rescued the Vedas. That is why he's called as Varaha Narsingha or Kroda Narsingha. So we had the great fortune of visiting Ahogalam Kshetra. And in fact, it is said that visiting all the nine temples, in fact, there's one more temple, the Parat Pralada Varada Narashinga temple, which is in lower, lower Ahobilam, which was in this deity was installed by Sri Balaji, Ishrinivas Govinda, you know, Tirupati himself, um, before his marriage to Sri Padmavati Devi. And he actually worshiped Lord Narashinga Dev by installing the deity here and personally worshipping that deity. So that makes 10 Lord Narsingha Dev Kshetras in Ahobilam. And we had the good fortune of visiting all of them in one day. It is said that Sri Gauranga Mahaprabhu also completed the darshan of the 10 Kshetras, nine Ahobilam and the Pralada Varada Narasimha temple in one single day. So here we can see we are making the climb after, you know, when we take darshan of Ahobilam, Narsingha Swami, the first temple, then the climb to Kroda Narasimha is not so tedious. It is a very simple climb to come and see Kroda Narasimha. But after Kroda Narasimha, when we are making the climb to go to Jwala Narasimha, that is the third temple in Upper, uh, upper Ahobalam, 
that is a very, very tedious climb. As you, we can see here, that uh, my parents were there and Prabhu is very kindly, he is holding my parents and he's taking, and we had a guide, a devotee who has been taking us to, who took us to all these places. And there was this cute little boy who obviously was coming from Tirupati. You can see him, he's all shaved up. And this little boy, they were also climbing, but somehow, um, we didn't see them after this first initial climb. They were with us, but maybe they just climbed too fast or what happened, we don't know. But this is a very miraculous little boy. He was very attached and he very mercifully gave us a picture <laughs> to take and we are making our climb towards Jwala Narasimha Dev. So Jwala Narasimha Temple, you can see we started our climb around 7.38 in the morning, and it's a really long hike. We were literally trekking along, you know, and it's a forest. It's totally, completely forest. The surroundings on either side is forest. There is just the final climb to Jwala Nishinga has steps. Otherwise, it's a jungle route. And if we do not have a guide, it's very, very easy to get lost in this jungle as we can see here we are climbing through you know rocks there is no road we are just making our climb through rocks and we are just climbing our way onto jwala narasimha dev to take darshan of shri jwala narasimha as we can see here the steps are coming in and it's like it's seeming as if we are going to the himalayas but we are in the south of india in ahobilam narasimha dev Kshetra. So this is how we are making our climb, going towards Jwala Narasimha Temple. And this we see here, if we see that cave up there, um, that is the Jwala Narasimha Temple. That cave that the red pointer is showing, that, you know, it's actually steps and everywhere is forest and into the cave is this beautiful temple of Jwala Narasimha Dev. So this Jwala Narasimha Dev temple. It actually lies higher above the temple on a hill called Achalachaya Meru. And this is about four kilometer above the upper Ahovilam temple. And this place is said to be the actual spot where the fierce anger of the Lord reached its culmination when he tore Hiranyakashipu. So if we see in the upper parts, we went to the Ahobilam temple, that's where he's Ugra Narsinga, his anger is starting. Because of that, Brahma got fearful. He dropped his Vedas and then Narsinga Dev took the form of Varaha Dev and saved the, the Vedas, just the face. And uh, he rescued the Vedas, the so Kroda Narsinga. And then when his anger reached the peak, the anger, because, uh, because Hirane Kashipu was trying to destroy the faith of Prahlad Maharaj. He, just, he challenged the faith of Prahlad Maharaj. Uh, Prahlad Maharaj was actually, uh, his body was tried to be uh, harmed by Hirane Kashipu in so many different ways. At that time, Narsingadev did not appear. He saved him, he saved Prahlad Maharaj, but he did not appear. But when the faith of Prahlad Maharaj was challenged, that's when he appeared. And he was so angry for challenging the faith. So this faith is such a gift given by the spiritual master, by the guru and the association of devotees and Krishna himself, that we must protect this faith like a gift, a precious gift that has been given to us. Because the Lord considers it worthy of taking an incarnation to protect this faith. So, Sri, we must always pray to Lord Narasimha Dev to protect this very tender faith on Krishna, on Narasimha Dev. When we make this climb, personally, I just the last part of the climb, I had uh, started, you know, developing very bad sickness. 
uh, Lord Narsingha Dev really <laughs> tested me a lot. But uh, my face had become red and everything. And when the Pujari saw me in that condition, he very mercifully, from the lotus feet of Lord Narsingha Dev, he gave me a beautiful, such a small, but a very, very, you know, red color apple. In India, at least, I've not seen such red color apple. It was like blood red apple. He gave me that, and it was so sweet. And right after we came out from the Jwala Narasimha temple, we came to this Rakta Kunda. We can see behind, that is the Jwala Narasimha temple. And we came out, and this, there's this Rakta Kunda Tirtha, which is said to be like a small pond, which is near the temple and it is called Rakta Kunda. Rakta Kunda means, Rakta means blood. It is said that here Lord Narsingha washed his lotus hands and after he killed uh, Hiranyakashipu. So Lord Narsingha washed his hands here and the water is actually crystal clear. It is very, very, very sweet. It seems as if, you know, it is mixed with sugar candy. It's so sweet. And climbing up, we were so tired. Just having this, uh, this water, refreshing water from Rakta Kunda, we became completely rejuvenated. So from Rakta Kunda, now uh, very near Jwala Narsingha, if we go a little bit above, you'll see this Ukra Stamba. This is the place where Ukra Stamba is, which is where Lord Narsingha Dev appeared from. So if we climb from Jwala Narsingha on top, uh, I had climbed in 1997, but uh, when we came, went here in 2014, I believe, I, I was not able to climb here. I, I did not do, we did not do that. But we took uh, photographs and we, paid obeisances to this place where Lord Narsingha Dev actually appeared. This was where the stamba was, the, the pillar, pillar was, where Lord Narsingha Dev appeared from. Jai Narsingha Dev Bhagavan Ki Jai, Sri Ugrastam Ki Jai. Now from Ugrastamba, from Jwala Narsingha, we walk down these steps and we come to the fourth temple, which is Malola. This is about two kilometers from the upper Rahubilam temple. And this is Mal Malola Narsimha Swami. This deity appears here in a very graceful form. As Lord Narsimha Dev, he's seen here with his consort Lakshmi Devi. So here we see that Ahobilam, he was Ugra, about to be very angry. His anger started. Then, his ang then in Kroda Narsingha, his anger was medium. In Jwala Narsingha, his anger was at its peak. Mm -hmm. And then when it, it was at its peak, no one could pacify Narsingha Dev. In fact, Lakshmi Devi said, I don't know who this person is. <laughs> I, I cannot recognize this person. It's not Even that Lakshmi Devi was so fearful of uh, approaching Narsingha Dev. Then Prahlad Maharaj went and pacified him. There was also a pastime of Lord Shiva coming in the form of a bird uh, and, uh, and having this Veera Ras pastime with him. But then finally, when Narsingha Dev was pacified, Lakshmi Devi was on his lap. And that's where it is Ma Lola. Ma Lola means, Ma means Lakshmi, Lola means beloved. Ma Lola means a beloved Lakshmi, Arriba. beloved mother Lakshmi. So here we see that this is in front of the Lakshmi Malola Narasimha Swami temple. There right at the back is the Malola Narasimha Swami temple. And beautiful, beautiful darshan we had here at Malola Narasimha temple. Beautiful Saumya Rupa of Sri Malola Narasimha Dev. And this thus completes our successful yatra of the four temples in Upper Ahobalam. Thus we conclude our session today. Shri Rupa Raghunatha Pade Jaravash Chaitanya Charitam Vita Kohe Krishna Das. Praying at the lotus feet of Shri Rupa and Shri Raghunath. 
always desiring their mercy, I, Krishna Das, narrate Sri Chaitanya Charitamrita following in their footsteps. Sri Krishna Chaitanya Nityananda Chandajan Vrindavan Dasata Chu Pada Jugegan. Anyone who faithfully listens to and, and also derives joy from listening to this pastime of Lord Sri Gauranga Mahaprabhu visiting these beautiful Sri Narsimha Kshetras will indeed be blessed with Lord Chaitanya's direct association. In fact, a sincere listener who hears these glorious pastimes will also swim in an ocean of devotional love and will also be awarded the protection of Narasimha Dev. And then he will become perfectly happy in life, will definitely see the beautiful moonlight face of Lord Chaitanya directly. Sri Gauranga Mahaprabhu's pastimes are being performed even now. Whoever is blessed by the Lord to see can see, while others cannot see. Ekhanero Hilagrantha, Amrita Lahari, Bonan Hare Akbar, Bona Hari Hari, Hari Hari, Hari Hari. So today's Japati is the affirmation that I relish chanting the holy names. Now, this affirmation affirms that we want to be in the consciousness that chanting is so sweet, so precious, so special, and that I am grateful for this opportunity to chant. Now, chanting is relishable mostly at the stage of ruchi when we have developed. We still want to be in the consciousness, even though we are not at the stage of ruchi, we want to be in the consciousness that we are so fortunate to chant. We are grateful to chant. And then we will get a glimpse of the sweetness of the chanting of the holy names. If we visualize ourselves relishing the chanting, the mind will be encouraged to relish it. Of course, real taste in chanting can only be awarded by Srimati Radharani. So why? Why Srimati Radharani? And how? Because Srimati Radharani, she is the personification of loving compassion. So we can pray to Srimati Radharani. We can pray to Sri Sri Panchatattva to bestow the grace with taste for developing this taste in chanting the holy names. It's like just when a drop of honey is placed on our tongue, we say, mm, so nice, so nice, so nice. I want more, I want more. So we should pray for that one time if we can relish the sweetness in chanting the holy names, then that will allow us to keep on aspiring to experience that sweetness over and over again. But for that, we have to chant with feeling. If we chant with feeling of helplessness and, and love for the Lord, then these feelings will change the thoughts that are constantly coming in the mind. And if we chant with feeling, it will bring immersion and absorption in chanting the holy names. Hare Hare. So today we dedicate the chanting of the Hare Krishna Mahamantra to our dearest Anjudi for her mother's quick recovery for the entire family of our dearest Anjudi, for our very dearest brother, for our dearest Krishna Sharanam Prabhu and Mataji, for our dearest Amrita Radhika and uh, her wonderful family of AJ, Nikki. And we also pray for our very dearest Sundari Lalita Mataji. And uh, we pray to Lord Nishingadev to grant protection and fearlessness to everyone. Hare Krishna. Krishna. 
श्रीमते स्वामी नमस्ते सरस्वती जय श्री कृष्ण चैत्र प्रभु श्री हरे कृष्ण हरे कृष्ण 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 हरे 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 राम हरे राम हरे कृष्ण हरे कृष्ण कृष्ण हरे हरे राम हरे Hare Krishna Hare Krishna 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 Hare 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 Hare
First, how what does Mangalgiri mean? Second, what is the offering to the Lord in Mangalagiri? Third, what is the beautiful prayer offered by Lord Chaitanya in Ahobilam Narasimha? Fourth, what are the nine Narasimha deities in Ahobilam? Fifth, what is the falastuti of listening to the transcendental nectarian pastimes? Sixth, what is today's Japa affirmation? Fantastic quiz questions, dearest Ranjani Gopika. Thank you so very much for these wonderful questions. We are so grateful to you. So we have a question from, um, from YouTube Live. Rosalind Anali. Mataji, the question is, can you identify for me the small deity under Lord Narsingadev on the altar in Mayapur? Oh, yes. Hare Krishna, yes. Uh, in Mayapur, the small Shaligram deity is the, the Ugra. He is said to be the Ugra Narasimha Shaligram deity. So thank you so very much, Mataji, for asking this question. Janathan and the Janardhan is on, is on uh, Raha Madhava's oh. altar. On, in front of Madhava's lotus feet is small. He's very small, Janardhan Shila. But in front of Lord Narsingha Dev in Mayapur, that is the Ugra Narasimha Shaligram deity. He is known as the Ugra Narasimha Shaligram. So we can open up the lines now. We have Anjudi, Hare Krishna Di. Hare Krishna. Hare Krishna, Jai Jai Shri Radhe. Yes, thank you, thank you so much for taking for this South India tour of Nursing Dev Bhagwan Ji. I was just feeling that we are all doing all of our eyes. It was and explaining us so much in detail. And as, as you know, like today is 21 days. Mommy is still on ventilator. But... Still, I think so. Narsingh Dev Bhagwanji is taking care of her. 
she is uh, still unconscious she has not opened her eyes but i don't know from where the as you mentioned just now the faith that he is taking care that uh, i always just pray what is best for her as you desire lord please do for her that is the only prayers and uh, the faith is still there that uh, nursing dev bhagwan ji is taking care of her i like to share something the day i was just leaving for delhi for the from bangalore i don't know somehow i just went to my puja room and i had two pictures uh, already one of nursing dev bhagwan ji and one of radha raman i just hmm. took it and put it in my purse and i went to the when i went to the hospital and i just put it under her pillow hmm. and uh, in the uh, from where it came i just don't know all of a sudden it was not nothing planned or nothing and uh, like you know just then i came back to bangalore also and i think so from one icu to one another icu my mother's room was shifted and i didn't mention it to anybody i just mentioned it to my brother's wife just three four days back just check if it is there or not because mm. i kept it long time back and she said mm. no it's still there under the pillow yeah. and i said oh god i said hi he did this i was just having that faith that he's just protecting her and yes. as the lord desires will be the best for her yes. what is the best situation for her and today i was just seeing all these darshans of nursing yes. dev i was just coming the faith in- increased more and more and i was just say just like you know i just want to go come and visit you and once like you know yes that thing also came in mind which i will be very truthful like mummy just ekdam thik ho jaye bhagwan ji i will just come and visit you and pay always insist to you so thank you for increasing our faith more and more and guiding us always in your classes i just look forward to it because it provides me so much of strength so much of inner strength that like you know and make me so positive also i said i just want to say uh, send positive energy to her so i just don't want to talk anything negative anything and i just and your japa tips are also so wonderful that we relish it and whenever and that japa tip i really find it very very beautiful which you said that uh, shila prabhupada said that what the mind has to do so so many times i said okay <laughs> you have to speak and the ears has to hear and yeah. why of the mind you are coming in between so no no <laughs> yes. so like you know that really helps me especially in the morning when i'm doing my japa tips uh, japa rounds yes. and it's re- all your japa tips are wonderful and this one really helps me a lot to yeah. say that mind you don't you are not required right now it is only seeing it and listening to it and thank you for everything and every time guiding us so beautifully and thank you for dedicating the kirtan for us for all of us for all the devotees we i have so much to learn from both of you you're so humble so kind i don't know so much you know for me your association is divine for me thank you so much thank you so much we are praying for mataji and she will Krishna's uh, Lord Narsingha Dev's mercy, she will uh, very soon be much better. Thank you so much. I know she's a fighter. She has been a fighter throughout his life and all the prayers of all the devotees will work wonders for her. Thank you all. Uh, thank you so much and thank you all the devotees for praying for mommy. Thank you so much. We are, we are with you. Although physically we are Uh, you know, separated by thousands of miles, but please know that we are right there holding your hand. We that I was always here. know. Yeah, that I always know. You. Thank you so much for your wonderful yeah. association, your prayers, your support, physically and mentally, both. You know, thank you so much. Thank you so much, Pi. Love Hare you, Krishna. Hare 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 Krishna. Hare
in when she's commenting on her love for you, I just say, I feel that way too. I feel that way too. And so thank you so much, Anjuri Mataji, um, for expressing words that so many of us, we don't even have time or the words to say it. And uh, you're just so sweet and sincere. And I always pray for all of, all of the ones in this group because we're all our family and you are our parents. You're not old enough to be all of our parents, but you are our parents by Krishna's mercy. And uh, I love the lesson today, um, the wonderful places that only we dream of visiting. You have so much patience to share it with us. And I'm so grateful and all the prayers and blessings for our family. And um, even sometimes I feel that, oh, I just have to speak to you. I have to speak to you. And then I just think about the lessons or go over them and I don't need to actually ask questions because Krishna gives me the answers through your sessions and uh, just thinking okay what would they say to me what would you know <laughs> so thank you so much I love you so much and love our family you. loves you so much too love you love you thank you so much mm -hmm. Thank you so much, my dear Sarita. I love you. Thank 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 you. Uh, in Panaka, Lakshmi Narasimha, right? Even not even find a single and really wondered <laughs> how come, yeah, in our home we placed some markings and all above that it is jumping and entering into the jackery. But there, they didn't do it. <laughs> they don't do anything, but still I'm just wondering that one. And uh, thank you so much for your Japa tips and uh, we not only released your Japa, Japa tips, but also released your the way of singing, also chanting the holy name. And uh, Mataji, in between, you gave, right? Hey, 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 like that you just added right at the end of uh, Prabhuji. <laughs> I really liked very much. So you are a great musician. I can say both of you composing Lord Krishna's name in a very grateful manner, which really touches our heart. Even in when I chant na, in the morning time, na, it will come to my mind. The way you sing, right? It will come to my mind. Okay, I keep my uh, syllable, all syllables, remember, able to remember. So that that way also you both are helping all of us uh, to remember and chant the holy name sincerely and hearing properly that's very very wonderful uh, Mataji, i have only one simple, simple silly question don't mind please uh, so we seen like yeah ahobilam where uh, hiranyakashipu was killed but we heard in navadip parikrama also there one more places right Ma Mataji yeah. prabhuji so how yeah. we need to decide every yuga it is taking place or how we need to understand so I'm not able to get that point. So two yes. two places are there, right? Yeah. yeah. Yes, yes, yes. Uh, <clears throat> actually, you're very right that even in Navadvip Mandal Parikrama, in the Navadvip Kshatra, there is a place called Narsinga Pulli where Lord Narsingadev is self-manifested there. And there is the Mandakini River where he has said to have washed his hands, you know. Um, and that is uh, there in one of the nine islands of Navadvip. So how do we understand this? So, you know, when Janani Prabhu was asked this question, Janani Prabhu said, Lord Ushri he is really huge, you know, and he had so much blood in his hands. So he washed his hands first time in Jwala Nishingadev at Rakta Kunda. Then he took one step and he from Ahobilam, he was transported to Navadip. He took one step and he came to Navadip and he washed his hands again at Mandakini. So, you know, the Lord's step is not like us. He's huge. He is Urukrama. So yes. he's huge. So, you know, his one step is here, one step is there. So that's how is the answer that Janani Prabhu gave. And of course, yes, that, you know, there are many kalpas that Lord Nishingadev also yeah. appears in. And, uh, but, but this one, uh, you know, killing of Hiranyakashipu in this way, um, we should understand it like this, that he washed his hand at Rakta Tirtha, at Rakta yeah. Kunda in Ahobulam, and he also washed it in Mandakini in Navadvip yeah. Dham. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 
beautiful answer Prabhuji and Mataji. <laughs> it's yeah, not a you. silly question, Prabhu. Anything that you ask can never be silly. It's such a fantastic and a deep question. Very nice. Thank you, Mataji and Prabhuji, and for carrying all of us. Yeah, as Anju Mataji and uh, Mata, I mean, I mean, other Mataji told, right? So we never feel we are alone. We have a spiritual parents for us. <laughs> I, I used to think all of both of you like that. And we are also praying for you both for well-being daily basis. Yeah. If you are good and if, you, yeah, we are able to release many things from you both. So may Lord Narsingha Dev protect you both and Ma Baba also. Hare Krishna. All the devotees as well. <laughs> Thank you, Madhachi Prabhuji. Hare Krishna. Dandavat Pranam. Dandavat Pranam. Stay tuned. Next week, we will go to the ne- other five Ahobilam Narsingha Kshetras. So please stay tuned. Today, we just did four in the upper Ahobilam Kshetra. Next Monday or Tuesday morning, we will do uh, middle sure. and the lower Ahobilam Kshetras. And today actually is also a very special day because today is Papa uh, Prabhu's father's birthday so it's a very special day too so we pray for uh, papa that uh, his health also remains good and you know we pray for papa happy birthday to papa <laughs> hari krishna hari krishna mati ji hari krishna prabhu please accept my humble obeisances mati ji and prabhu ji hari krishna Today is uh, my daughter, younger daughter, Sanvi's birthday as well, Mataji. Oh, so I... happy birthday, Sanvi! Thank you, Mataji. Happy birthday, Beta. Happy birthday. Thank you, Mataji. Thank you, Mataji and Prabhuji. Hare Krishna. May Sri Sri Radha Madhava, Radha Madan Mohan shower their choicest blessings upon you, Beta. Thank you, Mataji. Hare Krishna. Thank you so much, Mataji and Prabhuji. Hare Krishna. Hare Krishna. Thank you, Radha. Any other questions, comments, realizations? Okay. Hare Krishna, Krishna, Prabhuji. Hare, Hare Krishna, Krishna, Mataji. Hare Krishna, Prabhuji. Hare Bol, Prabhu. Dandavat Pranam. Dandavat Pranam. All glories to Prabhupada and all glories to Sri Guru Maharaj. Hare Krishna Mataji. Hare Krishna Mataji. Hare Krishna. Yeah. You you couple are so blessed and fortunate to visit all these places. And of course, I am grateful for you to taking us along with you and explaining, you know, all the details of the Narsinga Bhagavan, uh, Ugra Narsinga, Varaha Narsinga. Rala uh, Narsinga. You know, I even I think if even if we go in person, I don't think we will get all these details. So thank you for uh, explanation, and we are really grateful for you. And uh, thanks again for praying for uh, Bhakti. Uh, you know, she is not done yet. She still has to go through some more procedures, and uh, you know. Uh, it's not a simple thing, but anyway, thanks for your prayers. Uh, Hare Krishna. Thank you, Guru. We are praying for you every day, Mataji, yes. that may Lord Narsingha Dev continue to keep you in his transcendental protection. Yes. Hare Thank you, Prabhuji. Thank you, Mataji. Hare Krishna. Hare Krishna. Hare Krishna. All glories is to Lord Chaitanya Mahaprabhu that he went to all these places and revealed them so we can follow and um, also visit these places. And thank you all the devotees for wishing uh, Papa a very happy birthday. We are so grateful to all of you. Thank you. Hare Krishna. All right. If there are no more questions, we can end here. Vancha kalpata rupyascha kripa sindhubya evacha
गुड नाइट हरे कृष्णा हरे कृष्णा